Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Grand Theft Auto 5 video, I'm going to be discussing about everything which was updated today, because if you guys didn't realize, there was a five to six hour maintenance, which resulted in the Grand Theft Auto servers to be taken offline across every single platform. Now this took place around six o'clock in the morning to midday over in the UK, and it took place from about one o'clock in the morning to around six or seven o'clock in the morning for anyone in the USA in Eastern time so of course you guys can convert it to your time but the bottom line is this maintenance is over the servers are back up you guys can now play GTA online but if you want to know exactly what happened during this downtime then feel free to listen to this video as I'm going to be explaining everything into the best detail possible so I hope you do enjoy guys as always if you have any thoughts or questions about this let me know down in the comments section below but I'm gonna go into the most obvious topic right now and that's a ban sweep because usually when Rockstar Games take down these servers or try to improve GTA Online, no matter what they do, they will always do a ban sweep alongside it. And sometimes these ban sweeps are harsh, sometimes they're even brutal, or sometimes they can be quite nice and modest and Rockstar don't ban many people at all. So I decided to do some research to see how many people had been penalized, suspended or banned in GTA Online. So I decided to go over to the Steam forums, to the social club and just to anywhere GTA related and I discovered that a lot of players have had their account banned, but the majority of them seem to have just lost all of their modded money. So for example, I came across a topic of someone who had lost almost $20 million, a few other players had discussed how they've lost all of their vehicles, all of their items, and of course, a lot of players had been speaking about their account being banned. However, something more interesting is that this ban sweep has been taking place across every single platform, whether you're on PC, Xbox One, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 3, or even Xbox 360. I have got numbers of tweets from people on Xbox 360 and on PlayStation 3 telling me that their account has recently been banned, which is something which did genuinely surprise me because I didn't expect Rockstar Games to even touch the last generation consoles. They rarely do, and today it appears they have banned loads of players on older generation consoles. So if you do have an account on Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3, make sure it's not banned by checking it now. And I just want to mention, I found all of this information on around one to two pages of social club forums and Steam forums. Of course, there are going to be dozens, if not hundreds of pages of this. These things were listed every minute or so. So a lot of players have been penalized, but it appears the majority of them have simply lost their money or in-game items, which is of course in Rockstar Games' best interest as a business, because you'll inevitably spend more money on shark cards in the future. Anyway, let's get into the next part of the video. And this is something which I should have seen coming. It happens in a few games and a few developers unintentionally accidentally do this when they update the game Personally, I'm not too sure exactly how this happens or how these mistakes occur. Of course, it does seem like a simple mistake, but from what I have been reading from about half a dozen posts on a whole variety of forums is that players have had their accounts deleted. And like I said, this can happen on any game. I, I remember this happening when RuneScape would have updates back in the days or when other games I played had updates. I remember hearing all these stories about a few players having their accounts lost or deleted. However, I've never seen this happen on GTA 5 until today when I saw about half a dozen posts on a whole variety of forums discussing this. And at first I thought these players had just lost their password or they forgot their username or something, but after reading more and more into it, it genuinely appears like Rockstar Games have accidentally deleted accounts, which is something I think all of you guys need to bring up with Rockstar Games. Just like any company, they will have game saves backed up from like days ago, so if they have accidentally deleted your account, they will still have it in the database, so if you can't access your account for whatever reason, whether you think it's lost or not, just make sure you email support at rockstargames.com. I will leave a link to that email in the description below so you guys can go and email them for yourself. But on the brighter side of things, if any of you guys redeemed a shark card during Saber Week, which was about a week ago, then you may be receiving your rebate today if you haven't already received it yet. If you haven't received your rebate, make sure you do go and contact Rockstar Games, support at rockstargames.com. The email is in the description description below or of course if you think your account has been penalized and it doesn't deserve to be penalized which don't worry guys this happens to thousands of players 
if not millions of GTA 5 players worldwide. People have been given modded cash when they don't want it. People have been banned when they don't deserve it. If this has happened to you, email Rockstar Games. I will leave a link in the description below to their email. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy. Smack that like button if you did. Subscribe if you are new here. Let me know your thoughts in the comments about this recent ban sweep. My name is Nort, and I will see you guys in the next video.